Here I am. Um, I'm gonna wait for just a baby second. Oh, I've just been welcomed to my own chat room. That's nice. Thank you for welcoming me. Um, sometimes I think people don't show up at 7.30 because I've been like 7.35, 7.40, 7.45 so many times in the past. For that, I apologize. Hi, John Five. Um, so I have, um, oh, introductions. Ronnie's getting on my butt for not doing introductions. Welcome, welcome one and all to my live stream here on Twitch. If you don't know who I am, I am Terry Reynolds, former WCW, WWF, WWE Diva, wrestler, host, all that stuff. Um, I'm joined by my chief executive uh, moderator, Rodney, Rod the Mod, um, Rod the Hammer, and um, by my magnificent John Stoll, who keeps those merch uh, links coming, and I love him for it. Um, also today, um, it has been raining all day long, so I actually fixed my hair, and then I had to take Wilhelmina out, and so I just look a frizzy fright. I hope Chris Lester isn't on here tonight. He's going to have to pan my hair. Pan, not pin. Um, so... Yeah, I just, my head has been bad all day. There was, I, I guess it was like probably precipitated by the fact that there was a front that came through or something. I don't know. Um, Jen Gordon, hi, sweetheart. AJ, hey, AJ, it's either tomorrow or Thursday, babe. You and me, it's a date. Um, Peter, how are you, sweetie? John Five, thank you. Sixteen months. I can't believe it's been that long. That's that's crazy. That we, yeah. Anyway, thank you um, for all that you do. Lasting, I uploaded you winning the hardcore title on my YouTube today. I hope it made you smile because it was pretty silly. Um, AJ Terry with the good hair still. It's not. It's not good, but it's okay. Um, hi, Cartman. How are you? I, I don't recall seeing you before. Hi. Um, Doc Malice. Uh, sorry, Aaron. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Peter, thank you for subscribing. Um, my bed is Thursday. <laughs> That's ugly, Rodney Wayne. Don't be ugly. I should just do it tomorrow just to make you eat your words. Um, I got all the WWE shows. I just upload them daily and Vince gets the money. <laughs> Well, at least I think you're enjoying yourself. I hope you're enjoying yourself anyway. Um, yeah, so, um, um, okay, somebody's sending me a message and I don't know who the hell it is. Okay, dude, I can't speak to you. I don't, I'm not where you are, so no. Sorry, 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 sorry. Um, so, tonight is going to be another question-answer session, so, or comment, and me commenting back or whatever, just because I don't feel like going very long, and I apologize for that. Hopefully, Wednesday night, I will feel much better than I do today, but, um, yeah, thanks for your patience with me. And I will try to smile, even though I don't feel like smiling. I won't smile like this. <laughs> okay. Oh, who hype trained me? Who started the hype train? Thank you, whomever started the hype train. AJ, a thousand bit. Oh, my Lord. AJ. Can I not sing to you tonight? Can I just tell you I love you and 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 throw up the, the um old, you know, our old standby? For those of you who are new to my channel, last year, during the height of COVID, 
I broke a, a, um, help me, hold on, I need the word, hold on a second, a veneer, and broke my tooth actually off, and didn't have a tooth right here, so the only way that I could communicate was by holding something over my mouth, because they, all the labs were shut down, like, if it was not life and death, you didn't go to the hospital, you didn't go to the doctor, nothing, it was not COVID or life and death, your ass was, you know, whatever, so, um, yeah, so I started using these pieces of paper where I would write stuff and write thank you for the bits and all kinds of stuff. Anyway, that's, that's why, why this is even still part of our little family. Um, level two, 56% and three minutes and 20 seconds to go. Let's get there, shall we? Um, thank you, Doc Malice, for helping me with the word veneer. Um, jump five. Jen Gordon. Oh, my God, y'all slipped in some some bits. Thank you for the bits, Jen Gordon. Thank you for the bits, John Five. I'll make it up to you. Rach, how are you, sweetheart? Um, Cartman, which role do you, do you had a more fun playing? Face? Oh, being a heel is always more fun than being a face. Always, always. Uh, even though my heart is like face. Like, my true heart is face, but playing a heel, so much fun. Um, Red Queen Rhonda, which, if you say that, or if you try to say that fast, it just messes up. Red Queen Rhonda, Red Queen Rhonda, Red Queen Rhonda. Mm -mm, it just starts messing up. Sorry about that. Um, you all bit Terry, darn it. What do you mean? Oh, you're telling the, to, to bit me. Bit me. Not to be confused with bite me. Okay, that's a totally different line of stuff. Um, John's entertaining the ladies, I see. Oh, AJ, thank you again. All right, we're at 83% and one minute and 55 seconds to go. Um, I was going to buy bits tonight, but God laid something else on my heart, and I had to answer his call. Oh, Lord, I don't know what that is. Ken Housen. Um, I don't recall your name on here before, so it's nice to make your acquaintance. We made it. We made it to level three. Now we have four minutes and 48 seconds with 5%. Um, Kenhausen, tell us something about yourself, please. We like, we, we have like a little family that, that goes on here and, um, yeah, and the, you know, our regulars that come in, we like to know who everybody is and welcome them into the fold. They want us to buy and gift you. Um, yeah, I, I can say it once, Rhonda, and get it out right, but then, yeah. Surfing Venice. Ooh. Venice, California, or Venice, Italy. Do tell. Both have water. Um, hello to you. Um, did I leave anybody out? You guys, I keep, Glenn, I didn't see you. Hope all goes well this week to everyone. Oh, thank you, Glenn. I really try, you guys, the regulars will tell you, I really try to catch every single, um, message that you guys send to me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Oh my gosh. John Five, stop. Oh, you're, you're hype training me. Peter, thank you for the 300. John, thank you for the 101. John, would you mind to explain why you always add the one to it? I'm just curious. I've never asked you, and you've never said. Um, I def two. Hello to you. Also, Google Pay wants me to donate $5 to WWF. Those damn pandas. <laughs> That's Jim Gordon. Thank you for the 200 bits, sweetheart. The French. Hi, Terry. I hope you're well. New to the stream, but love to work in the WWF. Thank you, the French. Are you male or female? And are you truly French? I would like to know. Uh-oh. T-L-E-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W-W. I, you're going to have to give me a better name to call you by because I can't do that, girl. I mean, I see. I see. Oh, ouch. I see. Um... I don't know. I think you're a girl. Anyway. Doc Malice. Yes, you are new here. You're named Venice Callie. Okay, got you. Mr. Reed, good evening from Hawaii. 
how goes it and with the pineapple state chon five jacking up that hype train babe thanks um uh, where am I? my kitty had his wellness exam he's a senior now and he got a clean bill for oh that's wonderful oh john five thank you that's really sweet of you um we had some good times together when we were all together, you, me, and Rodney Wayne. T. Lou was taken. Okay. Oh, no, T. Okay. Can I just call you T? Is that okay? Okay, now I haven't been a fan since I was a kid, but quit watching when Owen died. Oh, my gosh. That was a horrible night. That was so bad. Um, Just came back to wrestling recently. I live in West Virginia. Happy to see you. Thank you so much, Ken. Um, Call me T. Lou. Happily, T. Lou. Um, now you know T he. Yes, now I know T he. Um, I'm gonna get Wilhelmina t okay, one minute and twenty six seconds at sixty two percent. I don't Sleepy Duke. Hey, how are you? Um I downloaded the serious app. My phone I'm playing the hell out of Willie's Roadhouse. <laughs> okay. T for T to the fifth power. Time to talk to Terry. Uh you're so smart, AJ. Hope you feel better soon. Yeah, I'm feeling better right now, Jodega. Jodega. Um, but yeah, it's been a sucky day. Sadly, I'm not French. My surname is French, so I get that a lot. Got you. Well, I love I love the UK, so um everything is good here in Hawaii. I haven't watched any wrestling since you left WWF. Is it worth watching these days? I don't watch it. And to be honest with you, I only watch when Dakota, I only watch like AEW stuff when Dakota tells me like something, sorry, something interesting is going on, um, th and then I watch, but I really don't watch anymore. It's hard. It's very difficult to watch it, it, for two different reasons. Number one, there's a certain amount of sadness that, that is in your heart and soul when you don't, um, when you are no longer entertaining fans and performing for them and it's kind of like oh do we do we get to the next level oh yay cool thanks guys um I really appreciate it um but so so that's like a like a minor consideration in my heart because it's like I still love entertaining you guys and I want to still be there but I know that you know 55 year old women don't make it in our industry so um I get that but um anyway let me scroll back up because I think I missed several things oh the the other reason is it just it's like it's just like a, a product that I just love the Attitude Era a whole lot more not that I loved every single thing that was done in the Attitude Era but I thought that was so much more fun back then with the double entendre and that kind of thing versus today's product so um all right let me guys let me scroll back up and catch anyone I missed sleepy duke hello I said hello to you um thank you again Jadega Serving Venice do you still have any injuries from wrestling yes I do my lower back is crap oh you're Terry with a Y so we're like we're like sisters or are you guy you're a guy probably um Everything is getting uh, okay. I've already read that one. Um, Dale, hey there, Terry. How are you doing? I was the one you had to cancel. Oh, dude. Okay, dude. I'm just gonna say this. I don't like working with cameo, like, like celebium. I like a lot better. And here's the thing too. So I don't put on a face every day. And when I don't put on a face. Like, like, mama is albino, white eyelashes, white eyebrows. Like, it, it, it ain't a pretty sight, right? You guys that are regulars, you've seen me a couple of times that way. But I never want to give someone that's paid for a video that look. I want to, you know, get into a look and look decent for them for their video because they can watch it the rest of their lives. I hate the way Cameo has such a short window and if I don't get it done in that short window it's like gone and I've got so much stuff going on that a lot of times I'm like I, I'm not doing my face today and 
Anyway, it's just it, 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 celeb VM I like better. But the best thing you guys can do if you want a video from me is go to bookterryreynolds at gmail.com and say what you want. And then um, you'll be directed to PayPal. You pay there. You get your your um, video via Messenger. So if you're not on Facebook, I'm not crazy about Facebook, but I do like Messenger. If you're not on Facebook, Messenger, like make sure you are. And then, um, yeah, so let me, okay, so let me go, sorry, I got long-winded there for a moment. Um, um, where are you doing? Hey there, Terry, how are you doing? I was, oh, I've already read that. That's what I was just talking about. Jen Gordon, thank you again for jumping on the hype train. We're not going to make this level four, but that's all good and well. Thank you. Um, West Coast Canada, got you, T. Lou. Nicholas Infante. I don't know. I love saying Nicholas Infante's name. I just love it. Nicholas Infante. Why do I say it that way? I don't know. Hi, Terry. How was it working with Stacey Carter? Alex. Um, Stacy as a human being is fine, but like the gimmick stuff and the stupid, like just blonde ditzy stupid stuff. I did. I was not keen on at all. Um, uh-oh, I, I thought we were done with the hype train. Really? Oh, yeah, it, no. Yeah, 9%, 53. Mm. Okay, so hold on, let me go back. Oh, Jen Gordon, you're giving me so much love tonight. Hold on. Hang on. Okay, so, um, uh, Mr. Reed, what's AEW? AEW is All Elite Wrestling, started by, um, my ex-brother-in-law, Cody. Runnels, and that is where my daughter works and where um, her father works and they are giving at least they're, they're so good for the business because now when a contract is up a guy or a girl at least has some place to go um you know to to at least get a better price so um uh, Nicholas Ponte that was an amazing episode of Dark Side of the Ring have you spoken to Dustin since Dark Side? No, I have not. Um, wait, how was their hype train success? I thought we didn't do it. Oh, okay, got you. Okay, oh, cool. Great work. Emotes are being delivered to supporters. Cool. Awesome. Uh, John Five and AJ, thank you again for all the, the bits. I so appreciate it. Um, yeah, you and AJ are winning the day. Um, looking good in the peach. Uh, Chris. You weren't here when I said this before. So, my hair is naturally, I wouldn't say curly, but I would say wavy, frizzy. So, I had my hair, like, done. And then my little Pris Anna that's right here in her stroller sleeping um, had to go out to the bathroom, and it's raining, and there's just nothing I could do. So, I look like a frizzy mop head so yeah I, I mentioned you earlier in the night when I first started saying I hope Chris is not on here tonight because he will pan my hair um Undertaker hello how are you Snow Shark good evening Terry from Nevada just curious what are what are the books on the bookcase behind you what's your favorite current read um so right here is uh, the Encyclopedia of World Geography and I feel like we in the States are really poor at that. I know I am. So I love reading dictionaries and I've started reading um, or maps and, and just because I'm like, no, where is that? Where's that city? Where's that country? What, what, what? So yeah, that's sounds weird, but that's the truth. Um, where am I at? A -W. Yes, Doc Malice, I agree with you. Mikey, Mikey Tindo. And old asses like Hogan Flair, etc. never leave, ever. Ouch. Seems like you would be a good coach, <laughs> coach for the youngsters. Um, yeah. Yeah. You could always have a Mae Young come back. Eh, that's a horrid. Don't, don't say that. I loved Mae. God bless her, but. Mm. Positive Gamer, you call me Angel. I appreciate it because I don't feel like one today. Um, the French. Yes, I, I, it really was, you know, it was, it was a, it was a cool time. Um, Jim Gordon, thank you again for the love. Ken Housen, 
Vicky Guerrero still going. Yeah, yeah. But, like, we have different... It's a different vibe completely. Anyway, I love that girl. But we have a totally different thing. Um, um, these days, people would be offended by the attitude. I know. Guys, you know, last night I, I talked about... Like, I don't like the cancel culture. I, I don't. And I feel like if everybody who jumps on someone else, if if you had a magnifying glass toward you and everything you've ever done in your life, and we've all made mistakes, we've all had screw-ups, we've all had things where we were like, oh my gosh, I am so embarrassed, I will never do that again. You you live and you learn. There's a reason, you know, you live and you learn. If you keep doing the same thing over and over and over again, then I'll I'll throw you to the cancel culture. That's fine. But we've all done stupid stuff. And I just feel like I just simmer down, take a giant microscope and look at yourself and did I say microscope? I didn't mean microscope. Maybe I did mean microscope. I certainly didn't mean horoscope. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, like just, I don't know. Like, I, I really do feel like people can learn lessons and can grow and get better. God knows. I hope I'm growing until the day I die. Because if you stop learning and growing, then what's the use, right? So I just wish people today, um, I, and I think those that that throw mud the the fastest and hardest uh, are the ones that if we looked at their life, they would be like, whoa, embarrassed. So, yeah, I, I just think that, yeah, anyway. Oh, my, hold on, I, my Martin's saying something to me. Hold on. Oh, Mart, I, I don't think you're on the stream right now. I, I, I'll call you afterward. I love you. I'll call you back. Love you, baby. Bye. Okay, so let me go back up here. Hold on a second, guys. I'm trying to see where the last um answer I gave was. Um. Wow, I, I got way behind, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'll tell you where I'm at so you'll know when I'll get to your thing. Um, I say I will if I can find it. Okay, there we go. Um, so the next thing is Mr. Reed. Just finished watching the latest Dark Side of the Ring. Did you watch it? <laughs> it was about the plane ride from hell. Well, yes, Mr. Reed. I know what it was about. And yeah, mm-hmm. I was a part of it, so I know. Um, oh, Positive Gamer. I haven't seen that episode. Um, thank you, John5, for putting out the Celeb VM and the Book Terry Runnels for videos. Undertaker, remember when Austin got in the room as a waiter and attacked all the Radical members before he had a match with late, great Eddie Guerrero on SmackDown 21 years ago. That was hilarious. Actually, no, I don't. Because um, I have a terrible memory. Except when I don't. And it's very good when I don't. Um, thank you, Nicholas and Fonte. Um, positive Gamer, you look amazing, Terry. I hope your day... Is oh, bless you, Positive Gamer. I've had a migraine for a lot of the day and I've been fighting it and that's why we're not going to go so long tonight but I appreciate it so very much patient ooh you got that 666 going me and the devil do not we don't like each other I'm not a fan of the devil me and Jesus we tight we're tight mm, got the peanut butter and jelly peas and carrots you know that kind of thing just kidding you might you might have chosen that for that reason or might not have but been a while. Hope you're well. That's right, Karen. Oh my gosh, I forgot that was you. You changed your name. I like you. I know you. Um, um, Dale. I'll do whatever is best to get a video from you. Book Terry Runnels at gmail.com is the best way for you to get a video. 
Terry's favorite name for the cat trash. I know, right? Um, let's see. For the best, hottest, hottest, cool merch, go to cigarscarsuperstars.com. Thank you, John Five. Thank you, thank you, Yaka Prime. Hey, Terry, and hey, chat. Welcome, Yaka Prime, because you, I've never seen your name on here before. Um, an academic, very cool. I wouldn't say that, but I do love knowledge, and I do love learning, and I hate to be ignorant on any subject. Alas, I am on some, but I try to correct that. Um, gotta love that rain and humidity, I know, right? Chatter, I'm the Chad who met you at Hamilton Comic Con, and the cameo video you sent me. Oh, Chad, okay, I got you. I got you, Chatter Chad. Going to see McFoley next Tuesday. At the, you will have such a great time. He's such a wonderful storyteller and has just a unique perspective. You're going to have the best time, Chris. Um, that's really awesome. Yes, Mick and I did a thing at the, the casino. Yes, we did. Uh, the Cody's game. Hey, Terry, I hope all is good and new to your Twitch. Thank you for joining, Cody. Um, what do your PJs say? Um, Victoria's Secret over and over and over and over and over again. Um, 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 nobody's perfect. Bingo, Charlie. That's that's very clear. Rick Flair and Tommy Dream are currently blacklisted. Um, breaks my heart. Really does. Um, I said last night, and I will say it again, neither of those two gentlemen have ever done anything to me, and I've been around Rick for 30-some-odd years, since 1985, and around Tommy, probably 20-something years, or at least almost 20-something years, and I've never seen that out of them. I've never had that happen where they were making advances toward me. That's not to say it didn't happen to someone else. I'm just, I can only say what I saw and experienced. That's all I can say. So, Ben Lova, hello. Um, people that are trying to cancel Ric Flair didn't know that the matter was settled years ago with what he did. The man is in his 70s. People need to leave him alone. Well, I, I'll, I've already said my piece. Um, um, every attitude era of each wrestling company must have Stone Cold to work. Huh? Every attitude era of each wrestling company must have Stone Cold to work. Don't get what you're saying. PJs don't say anything. Rod, you have, you have to read them. <laughs> That's funny. Lineman, 50 Cent. Hey, long time no see. Yeah, long time. Who are you? When was the last time you saw me? When was the last time I saw you? I don't know who you are. <laughs> Rick Flair is a man who gave everything for his career. People already knew it. Okay, so listen. Listen. I have seen Rick Flair naked. Naked in a bar um, with his mess out. But it was not a... It was literally everybody there was laughing and it was not like it was being pushed on anybody or touched this or it was just literally I'll tell you from my own my own perspective I didn't feel any kind of harm or like oh my gosh whereas the whole Brock thing totally different story totally different feel totally different vibe intended to make me to disrespect me um whereas Rick, it was like in the in the room and everyone's there and the bar or whatever. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to say because, like I said, I, I you know, I'm not in, I can't be in their shoes 24-7. I don't know what all they've done in their lives. I don't know. All I know is what I've experienced and I've never felt, um, I've never felt in any way, either one of those people, um, Rick or Tommy, I've never felt like I was being like, come on, let's come on. Nothing, nothing ever. It was all just, yeah, nothing. So, I mean, it's like words get twisted and it's, I don't know what. Anyway, um, let me scroll back up, guys, because I went 
on a little verbal um, spouting there for a second. Um, I'm going to try to get to the end of these comments. In fact, let me tell you what the last one is. The last one that I see right now is Lynn Figs. So, Lynn Figs, and it says, I hope your migraine goes away. I want to stop after that. So, I'm going to go back up and um, answer everything until that point. So, mods, if you can kind of help people remember no more questions, that will be great. Um, so happy to see you on Dark Southerine. Thank you, Van Lova. Doc Malice, what gets me is that none of what was discussed was new news. Everyone knows what Blair did. Why now does it have to be a thing? I don't know. Um, I was a fan of you in the 90s era. I haven't seen you ever since now. Well, where have you been? Because I've been right here. Um, thank you, Doc Mellis. I don't feel beautiful tonight, but thank you so much. Patience. Kiernan, thank you so much for your hearts and love. Peas and carrots. That's right. I mean, the big man. Terry's better than all the current female wrestlers in WWE. Oh, God bless you. I wouldn't say that. Um, it's this generation of people these days. Doc, people these days. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, thank you again, John5. If you want a video for yourself, for a loved one, for a birthday, an anniversary, a job promotion, just because you love me and liked me and you want a video to keep forever, book Terry Reynolds at gmail.com. Um, positive Gamer, Terry is the sweetest and most. Bless your soul. Snow Shark. Terry, so correct what you just said. I know I wouldn't want people to look into my life back in the late 70s and throughout the 80s. It's all part of the growing up experience. Yep. And I sometimes feel sorry for wrestlers and actors whose life. Yep. I know, I know. Um, offended by sexual assault seems pretty fair, to be honest. Okay. Yeah, but why bring up something 20 years ago? Yeah. Because they were filmed for a TV show. The Cody's Game. Just a random question. Do you have a favorite horror movie? <laughs> or any other genre movies? Okay, so Cody's Gaming. All of my um, regulars on here know that I hate... Um, don't like horror movies at all. However, one of my favorite movies of all time, this makes no sense whatsoever. One of my favorite movies of all time is um, Silence of the Lambs. Like, I don't get why I like that one and I don't like all the others, but I, I don't. Um, probably my favorite genre is documentaries. I, I'm a documentary fool. Um, I like Tommy Dreamer. He's literally the heart and soul of wrestling. He, Tommy Dreamer loves this business so much. He eats it, breathes it, sleeps it, much like Matt Hardy, much like Triple H. There, there are guys and girls in this industry that live it, eat it, breathe it, sleep it, and he is one of them. So, um, remember the show went to them about it. I don't know what you're talking about. Or, I'm confused. Um, stewardess claims that Flair says just like, yes, yes, yes. I saw, so, and, and American Tourist asked a Newfoundlander, Newfoundlander, why do scuba divers always fall backwards off their boats? To which the Newfound, Newfound, no, Newfound, Newfoundlander, sorry, I'm saying that so wrong, replies, Lord, Thunder, and Jesus, you must be stunned as me ours. If they fell forward, they'd still be in the boat. <laughs> That's cute, chat. That's really cute. Terry Lynn, I just finished my dark special bar. And that was a big-ass bar, Rodney Wayne. So you've been eating some daggum dark chocolate. Uh, Lynn Figs. Hey, hey, just thought I'd say hi. Uh, okay. Oh, Lord. Okay. Where's one? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you guys Wilhelmina before I, I stop. Just give me a second. Cody's Gaming, please come back again, sweetie. We're Sunday, Monday, Wednesday normally. Um, if I'm traveling for an appearance or something, sometimes Sundays become a little tricky. Um, but usually we try um, to have Wednesdays as a, a definite and Mondays as well. So, um, positive gamer. Has anyone heard of the interactive movie for Netflix starring the I have not. Um, 
80s horror movies, Rach. Uh, well, John, you and Rach need to, like, become best friends because y'all like the same kind of things. Um, Ms. Myers, hi and goodbye. Um, okay, guys, so I'm going to... Oh, 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 ouch, cuss a monkey. Ow! Mama just whacked her foot. All right, come here. Come here to Mama. Come. Come. You two CPs, come here. Say hello. You're naked girl tonight. Come on. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Help me, Wilhelmina. Come on, baby girl. Gosh, dang it. This is my chocolate Easter bunny that I love with all of my heart. Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. Over here. Over here. Look at you, precious girl. You're so precious. You're such a good girl. Can I have a high five? High five. High five. You better put that paw up. High five. I know you're just asleep, but give me a, a, a high five. Give me a high five. <laughs> Wilhelmina, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. You ready to go snuggle with Mama? Go snuggle, watch the Packers beat the lions. Want to? Um, okay, so um, I thank everybody for being on here tonight. Um, and I will see you on, oops, oops, whoops, whoops. I'll see you on Wednesday night. So until then. I don't feel like singing my goodnight song. I'll try it. Good night. Sleep tight. And pleasant dreams to you. Here's a wish and a prayer that every dream comes true. And now, until we meet again, doodly doodly do. Adios. Au revoir. I'll be the same. Doodly doodly do. Good night. And, and her ears are on high alert. Sometimes she looks like a bat. Sometimes when she stands up like this on her hind feet and, and she looks around, she looks like a little meerkat to me. It's like she's like a tall standing meerkat. <coughs> All right, guys. Love you. See you again soon. And thanks for watching and showing up. All right. Ciao for now.